everybody, I am Just Lance and I'd like to welcome all of you back for another video and I would like to say Happy 4th of July. Anyways, um, be safe, uh, don't catch your backyards on fire if you're growing, um, if you drink, please don't drive, and if you're setting off fireworks, do it safely, and just have fun. Anyways. Today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a good old-fashioned red, white, and blue all-American shave. So, the products which are going to be used in that first one is for the red, and that is my 1956, it's either a B1 or B2, Gillette Red Tip. For the white, it's going to be two items. One second, one is the brush, which is my 24 millimeter. Whip Dog High Mountain White in the tall amber handle. Also for the white is here in my white oh, Old Spice 1960s Old Spice Vintage Shaving Mug is a puck of fine American blend uh, shaving soap. And for the blue we're going to use two things for the blue. One is the blade, which is a brand new Gillette Silver Blue. And the other is my aftershave. Not a lot left, but um, Ice Blue Aqua Velva. Or Aqua Velva Ice Blue. Anyways, so that's what we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and let's get on to the shave. Brush, 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 brush. Normally, I don't bloom, but I figured, what the heck, we'll do it today. Only with ones, right? Just hang on, got a little soap on my hand. I just very, very recently, a um, couple of days ago, ended up cleaning my brush. This brush, it was stiff and it just needed, needed a, you know, a little bit, a little bit of help. So I used apple cider vinegar, um, let soak like I would if I was soaking it for a shade. Ended up getting apple cider vinegar, working it down deep into the knot. Um, let that set for a couple of minutes, rinsed it out real good. Um, get a little bit of water. And then went ahead and used um, some Dawn dish soap, or not Dawn, um, I can't remember what brand we use, but used a little bit of that, you know, worked it into the brush, oh yeah, that's a good load right there. Worked it into the brush, waste not, what not. And, um, rinsed it out. And then, uh, used some hair conditioner. And let that soak in for about five, ten minutes, and then rinsed it out after I worked it into the brush. Gave it a quick little drying. Ended up going ahead and you know, worked on the towel a little bit like I'll do all my brushes when I get done rinsing them out. Oh man, there's a lot of soap hanging out on the side of that mug. So. There we go. So 
So, went ahead and let it hang dry for a day or two. And so that with that, we'll use it. And as such, this brush has such wonderfully soft tips. Um, I love this brush. Um, I ended up getting it on a um, giveaway um, from Andrew Lyons or or Leon or Lyons. Yeah, excuse me, Andrew Lyons, um, which I've not seen anything that he's done lately, but he is a U.S. serviceman. Um, I think he's in the Army. Um, so, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Steve, the Daily Shaver, he won it, you know, he threw his hat in the ring for one. He has given away multiple brushes from Whip Dog. And I don't, I don't know if he won anything. I don't think he did. Um, he said it had been a while since he won anything, so. Um, Steve, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> um, Steve is one of my favorite YouTubers. I very much enjoy his antics. Chris Bailey had Shea Busta to kind of razz a little bit, and so, what the heck, I don't know Steve that well, other than couple of little comments back and forth on a couple of videos but I'd have a beer with the guy all right so here we go Gillette red tip with a Gillette silver blue oh yeah If you know anybody that likes to modify fireworks, um, <laughs> my brother he used to like to mess with those piccolo peats. Um, yeah, I don't do much. You just light them and they make a high pitched scream, and they're done. But uh, this silver blue is just going right through this. I've got about three days growth. Um, anyway, my brother went ahead and he would take and smash down the end, the top end of the piccolo peak. And then he'd light it and he'd just like, you know, well, I'm just boom. That was about it. It's. Have you ever done it? One moment. We live right next to a busy street, and uh, at least at times it's busy. And I don't know if you heard it, but the fire truck was going through. Um, in the past one. Anyways, go and rinse off. But, uh, my brother just got done one year, just got done doing yard work, and I was over visiting. And, uh, <laughs> so he had, you know, where he lives, it used to be, or where we live, um, 
it was many years ago before a dam up at Lake Isabella, California was built. Um, parts of this area was, hmm, parts of this area where we live is was riverbed. And many parts of the town I live in used to be marshland. And, uh, so anyhow, so there's sting nettles and of course the lovely, lovely foxtail uh, grass you get. You don't want that stuff uh, when it dries out coming off and getting in your dog's fur and working its way down in or working its way into an ear or down past the fur into the skin because that could be really bad. So he goes ahead and he takes his shirt off to kind of, you know, shake all the stuff off of it. And out comes my nephew with Piccolo Pete he found in his closet. Why he had Piccolo Pete in his closet, don't know, but we didn't ask. Um, So anyways, he's all, Dad, I found, I found this Piccolo Pete from last year. He had a hammer in his hand. My brother's, okay, give it here. So, there's my brother. Stand there, no shirt. Smashes the Piccolo Pete. And... He smashed it down too far and he decides to hold it while well, his vessel sideways cross the road. He decides, I'm going to hold it. All right, is that going to be safe? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, he likes it, and he didn't have a chance to do anything, and it boom, and he wasn't hurt, other than he had these scorch marks on his belly, like it threw hot hot bits of gunpowder against his stomach. And he's all, I really wasn't going to hold it. <laughs> and, uh, I'm all, are you okay? You got all your fingers? Yeah, they're all here. He had burn marks, not severe burn marks, on his stomach for about, oh, six, seven days, almost. About four or five, close to six. He told his son, he went, do not modify Piccolo Pete's anymore, so. It was more comical lesson than I learned. But he real quick realized how horribly wrong and bad it could have got. So. Take it from your Uncle Lance, boys and girls. Don't modify fireworks. Besides, now they're cracking down here in California. Woo -hoo -hoo. They catch you modifying fireworks. It's a huge fine. They catch you with illegal fireworks. Even if it says safe and sane. It is a huge fine. So, we always make real sure that all the fireworks stands we get ever get fireworks from is 
or stands that are cleared by the county fire department. Going against great. Wade's doing wonderful. Yeah, I was watching Kim Surf's video and he was saying that the Global Shave Company was the guy was telling Ken that uh, he ain't got them yet but he's going to be releasing basically clones of the Gillette Tech and the Slim Adjustable so I'm looking very forward to that because I've got a regular Slim Adjustable I've got a couple of techs which I'll tell you all about one of my techs here in a minute but uh, I'd love absolutely love 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 to have a or one of each of those Even if I had to figure a way to mark that adjustment dial to where I could tell what setting I was on, I feel. Anyways, so that's the face. Yeah, let's see here. No, don't see any problems. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead, cut away from here. i cut away here. Uh, go ahead, get cleaned up, double check. You know, get rinsed off, double check. No. Go ahead and come back and, and do the head. So anyways, see y'all in a minute. Anyways, it's been a while since I used Dallum, so let's see. Eh, not bad. Not bad at all. The person I got the vast majority of my vintages from. once said that the red, red tips were just a little bit harsh for him if I remember correctly but I find it a great razor anyways let that set for a minute but yeah so not bad not bad on the face anyways so like I said be back in a minute for the post hey guys anyways um, Got another something to add to the red, a little bit of blood. Ended up when I shaved in this part of my head. Um, I didn't realize that I had bumped the knob and it kind of loosened a little, so the blade got me right up here. Um, but hey, it's a hazard of twist to opens. Unless you're using something like the Slim Adjustable or the Fat Boy or one of the few, one of the other ones that has that quarter turn lock. Anyways, but hey, nothing I can't handle. I'm a big boy. Anyways, so first, Dickinson, Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Uh, my thoughts on the shave was really great. Um, that red tip 
got my face, my neck, my head. Pretty much either baby butt smooth or very, very close. Um, if you ain't got one in your arsenal, get one. It's a wonderful, wonderful shaving razor. Um, one of my favorite vintages. One of, I should say. Um, not the, but one of. But, hey, if somebody went ahead and told me that for the rest of my life I was only allowed to use the red tip, I'd be a little bummed because I've got so many razors that I enjoy using. But if I had to give everyone but the red tip up, well, I, I could deal with it. I could deal with it. Nivea Sense for Sensitive Skin Cooling Balm, Poche shaped Balm. Um, a little too much. Oh well. Let me rinse my hands. There's a few more bombs I want to get, but Nivea will always be one that I have. Um, I kind of like to get that stray whisker after shave ball. I know that Douglas Smythe carries it over there on Phoenix shaving. I hear it's really good stuff. It's like 20 something bucks a bottle, I think. Um, might just one of these times have to get some and go ahead and use it for, I don't know, special occasions, whatever. There we go. Yeah, nice thing is with this Nivea, if you use too much, well, not real expensive so as if you're into bombs I know some people aren't and the nice thing about it, it's got a little bit of menthol in it so it kind of cools you anyways so now on to the blue which hey maybe a post shape bomb it's white in color so dun, 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 dun. ice blue aqua Bella. There we go. Oh yeah, it's got some bite. Got some sting. But, you know. Oh yeah, found that most psychotech. It's not bent by much, but the safety bars are kind of out of alignment on the psychotech. So, that could very easily explain why I get sometimes get good shaves, you know, pretty decent shaves, sometimes kind of rough shaves, because the blade it never, you know, the blade just doesn't quite sit right. And um, it's the first time I used it, or the second time I used it, I used it on camera, or did the first time and the second time. And the second time, I was running a Darby Extra, and, and it was like, Darby Extra is really mild, really smooth blade for me. Some people can't stand Darby, Darby Extras, but I don't mind them. But, uh, you know, it was just such a rough shave, and it was like, what the hell? Um, my fat handle tech and my, and my ball in tech ain't nothing like this. So, you know, got my girlfriend who's got two decently working decent working eyes to take a look and she's all uh yeah it, it it the blade don't quite look straight in that so yeah so i'll send it into razor emporium here soon and and you know when i can and get a you know pay 20 bucks to get tune up anyways so that's the shade really happy with it um you know uh i hope you all have a safe happy wonderful fourth of july 
Um, if you have your friends and families over, y'all enjoy yourselves, be safe, and watch some fireworks as you're setting them off. And um, so, yeah, that's it. Anyways, likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. If you subscribe, please go ahead and tap that bell. That way you'll get notified whenever I drop a new video. Anyways, my email address, if you ever need to reach me, is justlance59 at gmail.com, all lower space, uh, or all lowercase, no spaces. Anyways, I'll see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.